there are monsters out there. You can feel their presence lurking beneath you. Revealing only glimpses, flashes, and dark shadows, merely hinting at their existence. Leaving anglers flustered, woozy, and confused. They will haunt you, becoming ingrained in your mind. Like a fever, visions of close encounters will consume your thoughts. It's a sickness. Wondering if what you just saw was really there at all, or if your mind is playing tricks on you. Preparation is everything. Your patience as an angler will be pushed to the brick. Your body exhausted and sore from hurling and jigging giant baits. There will be close encounters, and you will miss. Oh! Oh God! Oh God! How did he miss it? How did he miss it? Oh, dude, he hit me right there at the boat. He swiped at it. 50 all day, dude. 50 all day. Here, he's on. He's on it. He's on it. He's on my back. He's on my back. Look at him. Whew, shaking, 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 shaking. Oh, my God. She was so big. <sighs> it will feel like you're losing the battle. All right. It's not scary anymore. Yeah, right. In fact, it's incredibly dull. <laughs> and then, at the moment you feel most defeated, it finally happens. Oh, fish, 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 fish! Come on! Oh, fish, fish! I got it, I got it. Fish, fish. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Good job, Aaron. That's what I'm talking about. Are you kidding me? Woo hoo hoo! Go! Hit the net! Yo, hit the net! Got her, baby! Oh, fish! Fish! Hit the net! Got it. Fish! 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 Get the net! Get the net! Put it down, guys. You gotta get ready. Here she comes. Nice! Whoa! Yo. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Nice. Yeah, baby. Nice. It happens to everyone just before a musky trip. You become filled with optimism in anticipation of big fish. You hit the water with a rapid heart rate, encouraged that at any moment a monster will strike your bait. But as we all know, that's not how this story goes. Hours go by with nothing. You're put back in your place, humbled, reminded how truly difficult this is. All right, last cast with this guy. Switch it up more often. The fish of 10,000 casts, they are in command, and you do not understand them. What's up? On this trip, we team up with Absolute Unit Media, who had success recently on this lake when they boated a 49 and a half inch beast. Look at that, huh? 49. We also received location tips from professional guide service Muddy Creek Fishing Guides to help put us in the right location. Regardless, out here, the weather calls the shots. And on this trip, we finally luck out with overcast skies mixed with occasional showers. And it's just what the doctor ordered. Fish, 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 get the net, get the net. Oh, oh, get down, get ready, here she comes. All right, one more, one more pass, one more pass. Don't, don't, don't let him go over there, bring him up. Okay. Yeah, baby. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let me start one. 
you know we've been grinding for so many years on these guys and struck out on the weather so many times and we finally got a trip where they're eating our baits of all the fish in fresh water oh. muskies are at the top of the pyramid the kings of the opposition oh, what a beauty so cool fishing for them is like playing a video game on expert difficulty. Like being called up to the big leagues. Yo! Ah, hit the net! Yo. Hit the net! I got you, I got you. Got her. Got her, baby! That's how we do this big us bucktail, baby, let's go. go! Jay, why don't you take your boy out of the net? Heart pumping? That is a pretty fish, bro. A relative of the northern pike, but on steroids. A thick, elongated body of pure muscle. Powerful, lustrous, and agile. With an uncanny ability to dominate an angler after being hooked. As if they've been trained on exactly what to do. I got it, I got it. When a fish strikes, no matter who it hits, the boat rushes to action. Oh yeah, he's big, he's oh, bigger. Geez. Everyone has a job. He's bigger, he's bigger. As hard as these fish pull, you are not here to enjoy the fight. Good job, Eric. Musky strikes come only so often. The goal is to get the fish into the net as quickly as possible to minimize the chance of losing. That's the nicest one for sure. Once in the net, take that deep breath. Collect your nerves. It's time for the fun part. For just a few seconds, you get to hold an animal that is entirely foreign to our world above water. Jake, they're not following part. it. They're not nipping at it. And they're not swiping at it. The they're tape. eating it. An alien in some regards that is so different and special that it might as well be from another planet. Fish, 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 fish. Lake Chautauqua is recognized as a world-class musky fishery, with fish in the 40 to 50 inch class caught and released every year. Come on, come on. Although this lake is highly pressured compared to most musky lakes, thanks to the annual stocking program by the DEC Chautauqua Hatchery, the number of muskies per acre allows this water body to continue to produce fish of quantity and quality year in and year out. Fish, 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 fish. And although it has a negative effect on the maximum size limit, the absence of pike also contributes to the exceptional numbers of muskie in this lake. There we go, baby. Keep me. We have one last morning to take this place on. The waning hours of the trip. Last call. With sore backs and exhausted bodies, we forge onward. Push it to the very end, hoping for one last minute bite. If you haven't had a turn yet, now is not the time to quit. It doesn't matter if you've caught one or 1,000. When that muskie crushes your bait, everything else goes straight out the window. Ready? Here's your body rushes with adrenaline. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Get him! Yeah! Yeah, yeah dude! Yeah, it was all the way back in the 19th century when muskie fishing on Lake Chautauqua became a major tourist destination. Only back then, 
They were known as Chautauqua Pickerel and were a popular table fare served at the elaborate hotels surrounding the lake. Made it happen. Today, things are just a little different. It's the modern day catch and release mentality that helps contribute to the stable fishery we know presently. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Catch and release is about respect. Respect of the fish and respect for our future generations. It's an unwritten rule that is shared among anglers regardless of what is permitted in the state regulations or required for the record books. After two solid days of fishing, we were able to collectively boat eight muskies total. A solid production in any muskie fisherman's book. How long it will be before another one is pulled over the gunnels of this boat is anyone's guess. These fish have a knack for being elusive. For now, we will leave satisfied with our accomplishments. It's proof that although well frequented, through management and conservation, Lake Chautauqua is still a destination worthy of the voyage that is capable of producing large numbers of muskie, along with a shot at a fish of a lifetime. Despite the odds being stacked against all muskie anglers in general, I like the odds here. Yeah. <laughs>